Nice! Now I'm standing here at the top of a hill and gravity's pulling me down. It wants to pull me down that hill, but I'm not going anywhere. So what's keeping me here? It's another force that we have to deal with. It's friction. So there's enough friction between the grass blades and my feet to keep me from sliding down the hill. Well, how can I overcome that friction? I can overcome it in a number of ways, but one of those would be with this. Ice cube. Now think about this, as ice heats up, it makes a layer of water, and water has a very low friction coefficient, which means things slide very quickly on water, and then when water's on ice, they slide even more quickly. So theoretically, if I could put some ice here, I should change the amount of friction that I have on the grass, and gravity should be able to take me downhill. So, can I change the friction and end up at the bottom of the hill? Well, that's what we need to find out. I just need a piece of ice that's big enough for me to sit on, which is what I have here. This is just a whole bunch of those same ice cubes packed together in a small block of ice. I drilled a little hole in it, and all I had was speaker wire, so I ran that through there, and that's gonna hopefully allow me to hang on. I'm gonna sit on this, and theoretically, I should be able to overcome that friction force and go cruising down the hill. A little summertime fun called ice block sledding. Here goes nothing, look at that, look at that. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it leaves a nice cold blue line. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I think I got air. <laughs> nice. Well, thanks for watching. To see the latest from FLIR, click on subscribe or come on over to the channel and check out all the amazing things that Infrared is showing us.